What's well, guys, Nathan here. Welcome to a squad build today. Haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, in from this channel for the whole 15 of uh, at the whole FIFA 15, I don't think I've done one. This is a DK hybrid squad for you today. And so often, Sani and Danovic obviously got an upgrade, but I just had this one in my face. He's kind of just there to represent him. Don't worry, Cardi's not that expensive. Okay. If you read a solid goalkeeper, I guess he's different. Um, I think the racing. Plus one, um, pretty, he pretty much should have stayed the same rating to be honest. Then we have Juan Jesus in the centre right position. Uh, he's a very solid player. He's got the pace, the, def uh, the physical, and the defence, which is always good. And he's non rare, so he's extra cheap. Then we've got his teammate Hugo Campagnaro, completing that contin contingent of the centre backs and the goalkeeper from Inter Milan. And also, you'll see in a minute, there are some more Inter Milan players. But first, at right back, we have Silvio. He's kind of left chemistry reasons. I probably could have improved the right mid, but there aren't many right mids from the nation I did select. And it's mainly about the midfield, the centre mids, and the attack in this team. Even though the right mid is pretty good in Eduardo Salvio. He's um, a pretty decent player. I haven't played him on my team, but have on career mode. He's got the pace, and he's got good crossing as well. Um, to feed the two strikers and long passing is is um isn't a problem with this guy. He can you know if you go for those chip through balls or the strikers, you ain't got a problem there. And um, I'm in a bit of a rush, so um yeah, sorry if I sound that. But we have probably the weakest thing in the team, the left back, Gene Bosasjor, ex Wigan player. If you may remember him, um, he's a left back now and he looks pretty decent to be honest. Um, Obviously, he doesn't look that great because he's non rare, but anyway, we do have Mark Gonzalez. This guy is, is being good and cheap throughout FIFA's, but he's a silver now, and um, he's got the good qualities for a left mid. Obviously, the the uh, pace and his shooting were his main um, aspects in previous FIFA's, and they still are, to be honest. Still got good shooting and decent passing as well. Then in the midfield, we've got this is the one I'm talking about the more Inter Milan players we have. Freddy Guarin, of course, you could upgrade, get his inform. Um, I haven't actually got him yet. Um, I will try him out. I uh, don't know how much he is. Uh, comment down down below how much he is. Um, but yeah, we got upgraded Kovacic or Kovacic next to him. I uh, splashed out the monies and got his upgrade. Six hundred coins. Um, <laughs> not really much splashing out there, but yeah, he's just got pace. Um, in Mitchell loop, he's kind of the engine. He's great dribbling as well. Then up front we've got the main reason why I built this team, uh, Eduardo Vargas, he is a pain when I play against uh, one of my friends against him, he has him up front, he can score from anywhere, finesse shots, um, outside of the boot shots, you know, wh whatever, this guy's got it. And then we have Mario Zarate, um, another OP striker, and now they play for the same team, they've got strong links, so it just makes it extra better. So cheers guys for watching, enjoy this team, and I'll see you all on the next video.